What can you see, Fern? Yeah, we're in the countryside again, aren't we? Favourite place? You're a country dog, aren't you, Fern? You're not a town dog. No. No, you're not. Right. Uh, something's been irritating me for a while. That I'm going to go and fix now. I'm going to use this. I do have chainsaws and stuff, but this is handy. Easy. Oh, God. Bane of my life. Keys. So many keys. Uh, pretty sure it's this one. Yeah. Okay. Let's go and sort something out. So, unfortunately, uh, I had some trees. Oh, well, some trees pulled down and a couple of dead trees that have been irritating me for a little while. So, we're going to go and sort them out. Okay. What are you doing? Come on. Come on. What are you doing? Oh, let's go. Well, we go. You know where we're going, Fern? You know where we're going? I know what you're looking for. I know what you're looking for. I've got to go and sort some trees out, Fern. Oh, there's a gift. <laughs> I don't disclose where the location of Sanctuary is, for various reasons, but some people do know where it is. And I do get gifts dropped off now and then. Oh, and there's a card in there as well. Oh, wow, it's full of food. Oh, that's really nice. And there's a card. All right. Well, let's put this in the car. Hmm. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, some very nice people help help the hedgehogs out. Um, and we do get donations of lots of jelly-based food. Um, let me just see what this card says off camera. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, it's from Sue. I know, Sue. Okay. I know, Sue. That's really nice of her. I wish a shame I missed just missed her. It's a shame. Okay. All right, here we go again. <laughs> ooey, ooey, ooey. Um, potluck here. I know it's an Arabus here. I reckon it's this one. We were gonna get lucky here. Oh, yep. Awesome. That wasn't too bad. All right. So there's a couple of dead trees here. Destroying my fence quite nicely. Uh, this one and that one. So let's just get rid of them. They've been here for a little while, causing problems. Okay. Uh, 
Let's chop it about here. I reckon. Close my phone. <laughs> okay. I we use these for paths and things like that. Break this in half, you reckon, easily. Stick out the back, I reckon. Uh, that is. Oh no, we can get rid of that. Let's push that down here. There. Okay, let's do. Do I care about this one? Yes, I do. Okay. I don't know how much juice I've got left in this battery. Oh, unfortunately, I didn't charge it. What came out? Okay. Push this away from the fence. Well, that's grown into the fence, so that's not going to be possible. But well, it looks like you're going to have to stay. They put. That's a shame. Okay. Next one. <clears throat> okay, this is a much larger, a larger branch has come off this, this poor thing, a few branches off it, absolutely annihilated my fence. Oh, it's bigger than what I thought, much bigger, but let's try a little bit. Let's try and get rid of some of this. Probably take that bit. <clears throat> Yuck. Um, let's do this. Oh dear. Uh, leverage. Uh. Oh. <coughs> oh. <coughs> there you there. Got the main trunk to do, um, and we're good. Yeah, 
Bloody old tree there. Right, I'm done. I couldn't do this big bit here. Uh, the little electric thing's not strong enough for that. But anyway, that's that sorted. Now I've got to figure out how to fix my fence. Um, whole thing being ripped down, so and dogs are coming in here, so I've got to figure this out. Anyway, next. And we've got a nice pile of wood. That's good. Firewood or um, maybe we can use for paths. That's right. All right. Is that done? Key, 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 key. Uh, which one was it? This one. Okay, good. I just had a phone call from someone a long, long way away, in Wiltshire, I think it was. Um, they found a hedgehog in their garden sunbathing. Uh, hedgehogs don't sunbathe. That's what the one thing they don't do. So something's going on with the hedgehog. Unfortunately, she's miles away from us. So I gave her uh, the British Hedgehog Preservation Society number to give them a call. To see if she can find a local rescue center but yeah apparently this hedgehog was disturbed because a neighbor was streaming and it found its way into their garden over the last sort of two three days it had been seen out during the day so whether something's injured maybe the hedgehog's injured or maybe something else is going on with the hedgehog i don't know but um it didn't sound very good so hopefully the hedgehog will be all right but there we go Right, Fern, we're here. You ready? Huh? Yeah? Okay. Let's go. Oh. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Come on then. Hey. Come here. You know what I don't want? But I know what I do want. I do want some Red Bull. Huh? <laughs> two of them, and I'm going to get two Pepsis as well, Andrew. Yes, please. All right, let's go. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Take it easy. All right. All right, come here. Come here. I know. I know. Okay. Oh, I just had a phone call from a long way away, not near us actually, for a hedgehog 
that have been found out during the day after being disturbed by a neighbour who was streaming and it's been happening over a few days so it's been outside which um is not normal and then today it was sunbathing and hedgehogs don't sunbathe so something's going on with that hedgehog so the advice I gave her she's not near us unfortunately is uh, to contact the British Hedgehog Preservation Society she's in Wiltshire or somewhere like that miles away um, and they would put her in contact with a local rescue center so um, in situations like that uh, there's generally speaking something going on with the hedgehog if it's out during the day and it's so-called sunbathing which hedgehogs don't do then something's going on so yeah, so hopefully that hedgehog will be all right. Um, there we go. All right. Um, just putting this with the food store. This is from Sue today. It's full of packets of food for the hedgehogs. Yummy jelly based. I think they were cat sachets. So in fact, we'll probably use this today actually and then um, I am assuming this tubs for hedgehogs as well so we can use that but the dried dried hedgehog fooding which is actually fantastic that's really nice um yes. okay. oh. right let's have a look what we got inside here oh yeah lots Oh, we'll use that tonight. Fantastic. Right. Okay, it's time to clean the hedgehog houses out. This is done every day. So we've got about 20, I think, to clean. Just renew the bedding, new bowls, food, and such. So, first off, let's get a bale of hay. I need a nice bale of hay. There we go. Yeah, we get through about a bale a day of hay, um, especially in peak seasons, bale and a half. But we've only got 20 or so hedgehogs in the moment because a lot of them have just been released. There we go. So, do we start with? Let's start at the back over there, actually. Let's start. Over, and I'll leave that here. Hey, that's not for you, Fern. Not for you. No. In a minute. Okay, this is number 50. This is Lou. Let's clean out Lou. Oh, so, need to get new water and new food bowl. So, that's the first thing. Food bowl. No, we need a water bowl. Oh, what are you doing out? Huh? Okay. So, let's have a look. We're going to weigh Lou as well. Lou is in here sleeping. Now, unfortunately, we're going to have to wake, wake up Lou. Before we do that, let's just renew this bed. And the stinky poo, probably. Let's 
scraper. There we go. So this is um, a weekly clean actually. So I do this every day, but this a weekly clean is slightly different as I throw in some Throw in some of this poultry mite and lice. We just sprinkle a little bit, not much. I normally do it all over the, the base of it. And all this does is if there are any little bugs, lice, mites, ticks, blah, blah, blah. This stuff is meant to dry them out. And I think it actually does a really good job. It's completely harmless to the hedgehog. Um, and to people, but it's very nasty for ticks. There we go, horrible things. I don't actually know what's you can use it chickens, turkeys, ducks. Yeah, there we go. Well, that let's put some new hay in. Right, any of that. Now, let's weigh the hedgehog. Okay, I'm gonna put my gloves. Now, this is Lou in here. She'll be asleep, but I've got to weigh her. And I'll put her back into a nice, nice little nest. So this, ne this is a nesting box, I don't normally uh, clean this out every day. I do this weekly, but we're gonna clean it out today. Let's find it first. Tucked away in here in a ball. And there's Lou. Now you come. Oh, oh, you're spiky. You're spiky, Lou. Sorry, I know. You don't want to be woken up. You go, what the hell's going on? It was nice and warm in there. I know. Very quickly, very quickly where you live. Make sure you're right. Louis has been hibernating. 300 and 400, 462 grams. So we need to put another, I don't know, 40 grams on you. And then we can release you, can't we? Eh? Right, let's temporarily put Lou in a carrier. There we go. Let's take that out. Let's empty this. Yeah, it's normally pretty compact this nest box um, there's no nothing in there there's no ticks no fleas or anything but let's just put a little bit of this in here right. I've got bags of this stuff this is a small bottle I refill Big bags of it, very kindly donated by people. Bags of it, it's really good. And I get through quite a lot. Now, let's put some. That's a shame. Lou will drag in more, so it will become compact again. That'll do. Come in, Lou. I know. I know, Lou. Really. There we go. Fresh bed for you. Right. And now we're going to put some water. So I've got 
rain water actually but um you use any water there we go so let's put the water there food close this up let's get a passion look at this food this was from sue today so i've got to give her what have we got here Oh, tree, fantastic. I'll give a little sachet. Nice. Nice and smelly. And we're done. So, another 19 more times. And then we can move on to the next thing today. Ooh. Right, let's go on with it. Well, there are some frog spawn in here, which means, I don't know if you can see that, I don't know if you can see the shadow of me. Yeah, you can see it. Frog spawn, which means there's frogs in here. Or around here. Somewhere. There's loads of them. It's absolutely chock-a-block. <laughs> absolutely chock-a-block. That's pretty good. Right, let's grab Jay, because Jay is being released today. Um, I don't need to clean out this hutch, actually. Well, he's cleaned the straw out and everything, but we don't have to replace it. Uh, Jay is in here somewhere. Oh, look at that little tunnel. I see, I see Jay, there we go. All right. Come on, then. There's big old Jay. Come on, Jay. Hey. Let's put you in here. I'll go away, Jay, in a minute. Jay uh, came in with injured eye. Um... Been on some meds, done really well, really healthy hedgehogs, no fleas, no ticks. Quite a friendly hedgehog, aren't you, Jay? Apart from you got no eye. Well, you got one eye. But you'll be fine. So we're going to release Jay today. Well, it's going to release tonight, but I'll take him over to Kimpton in a minute. So, all right. Okay. We ready, Jay? Ready, Fern? Let's go. We're heading to Kimpton to drop off Jay. Um, hopefully, Mike, who we're dropping off to, is going to be there. Um, I got the first back here. Uh, we've got a little hedgehog house in the car with us, an old one just for temporary accommodation. So we're gonna give that to Mike. Mike was the one who phoned in the rescue for Jay a couple of weeks ago now. Um, so Jay's gonna be released tonight. So I'm gonna give the hedgehog house to Mike. Uh, he's got some food and water. And then later on tonight, he will release Jay into his garden in Kimpton. So good stuff. And then we've got another hedgehog to release later on, and that's in Harpenden. And I was going to go to the vets, because we had a, another hedgehog come in um, on Easter Sunday, uh, two days ago, um, in a poor state of health. Um, terrible, manky, nasty, tarry, black poo, uh, ticks, fleas, um, lethargic emaciated and dehydrated oh so many things wrong with it um but unfortunately we did give it some meds um and we did try that night but it passed away so i did actually have a, a booking to see medivets in redbourne to take it over there today but um unfortunately it didn't make the night so that's sad news but um anyway we are releasing two 
hedgehogs today, which is good news. So, yeah. I'll be back in a minute. Let me give you the box. Um, there you go. The lid comes off. Yep. Um, so you can give put that. It's an old wine box, actually. <laughs> and I'll get Jay out. Yeah, well, you, you can have it. You can keep it. Because obviously you've got hedgehogs around here. So um, it will last for as long as the wood lasts. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I'll give you the whole lot. I'll give you the towel and, and the whole shebang, so. Let's have a look. So. I was amazed when you picked them up. Yeah, I was a big, healthy hedgehog, to be honest with you. I mean, the eye injury is permanent. Yeah. So it's completely gone. Is that why he's about in the day? Um, it could be, but he's 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 not blind in the other eye, yeah, oh, good, so he's fine. He's walking around, no problem at all. It's just that one eye, um, and he's as health wise, he's really good health. Do you want so, me to get a towel? no, no, no. You can have this one. No, it's, it's no problem. You can have this one. No, I've got I've got a good supply inside the car. Don't worry about that. But yeah, and he had some spines, yeah. But there's a couple of reasons that could be a strimmer. Or it could be rats when they're hibernating. Yes. Rats can um, gnaw on the, the spines. So we'll put her. Uh, where do we do this? Like that. Like that. Um, keep them inside somewhere sort of quiet. Um, should be should be sleeping now. Yeah, somewhere quiet inside. And um, then later on this evening, dust time. Yeah. Put him out straight into the um, the hedgehog house. <coughs> Okay, so that's Jay released. Well, going to be tonight. So that's interesting. So the, they have in the past seen badgers here. Well, not directly here, but in the area. So, and there's a wood over the back there. So I'm assuming badgers are over in the wood there. Um, but the hedgehogs are fine here. So, you know... We'll leave him be. It's not obviously directly where badgers are because it's a housing estate, but um, they're in the area, so I'd imagine they're within a mile or so away, venturing into the uh, the village. But anyway, that was a good job. A good job well done. Um, we're going to head back to the sanctuary. I've got to pick up another hedgehog that we're releasing into Harpenden um, and then we've got to feed the hedgehogs after that but I normally do it feed the hedgehogs when it's dusk but it can be super dark and it'll be nice to show you on video so we'll do it slightly early there we go okay feeding time I'm gonna be using this brand new pot or tub kindly donated today full of food so first off what I do is I place the food around all the hutches that one to there now uh, hello hello can you hear me in there now someone's awake and they shouldn't be. This guy is awake all the time in the day. And a couple here. And a couple here. And a couple here. Excellent. Right. <coughs> Okay, Fern. Oh my god. What's going on with you? Feeding time. This is normally done a bit later. Um, jelly based dog or cat food at the moment. Uh, because it's not too hot. When it's in like summertime, it, this becomes really bad and um, stinky. 
and flies are attracted to it. So you have to clean the bowls out as soon as they've eaten it, really. <coughs> or you do it late in the evening. Um, so all these guys are going through rehabilitation, various things wrong with them. Um, and they should all be sleeping, apart from that one we just saw. They should all be sleeping. But some of them are not. There we go. And this is a fine one. There's all different types of jelly base. That's not much in this one. This guy needs another packet. There we go. And I'll keep going round and round for all the food. So I've, they've all been cleaned out. I new fresh hay in them <coughs> and water as well. So I'll carry on and finish them off. And then we've got to head out again. So see you in a bit. Right, let's get uh, Mitch ready for release. He's heading off to be released tonight. Mitch came from... Well, was actually overwintered by uh, one of our hedgehog fosterers, the Dents family. Um, and unfortunately, this is over this winter, 2020-2021. Early on, Mitch decided to uh, cause issues. He had um, a fungal worm infection on his back, so we, we took him back to the sanctuary and we treated him for that. He recovered well. Um, but he stayed with us for the rest of the time and had had hibernated. Um, yeah, this board with spikes here. Fast asleep, unfortunately. Yeah, so we will release Mitch in a bit. And he's going to go to a lovely release site in Harpenden. Um, Hedgehog House, feeding station and all the rest of it, so should have a good time there. There we go. Okay, let's head over. Let's head over to Harpenden. Okay. There's young Mitch. 580 grams, so good weight. All right. Off we go again. You ready? For... You ready? But good luck in your travels. Please excuse me. There we go. Okay, <laughs> That's Beat Nasty streaming on Twitch. Um I'm just releasing hedgehogs at the moment, and uh, he just popped online, so I thought I'd quickly watch him. He's raising funds for the hedgehogs. They're currently at £200, thanks to his followers. Excellent job. Um, yeah, I'm in the middle of a field, so. <laughs> but I saw a donation come in, so I thought I'd quickly uh, watch, watch him. Don't worry, I'm not on the public street. I'm on in private area, private land, and I am dri driving while watching, um, watching Twitch, but I am nowhere... Um, that's gonna hurt anyone. I'm in the middle of a field, so don't worry. Don't uh, drive and watch stuff on the, your phone. Hey, isn't that right, Fern? Yeah? So we're just heading off to Harpenden now uh, to release Mitch. So I will be back with you in a bit. Uh, he's Beak Nasty's playing Oblivion, I think. He did an excellent job. And we sent some gifts over to um, Beak Nasty for the followers and people who are donating to stream. He's got a large goal. He, he's trying to raise a thousand pounds for the hedgehogs. So that's a massive goal, but uh, doing really well. Two hundred pounds at the moment. Thank you, Beat Nasty. If you watch this, thank you to the followers. <laughs> right, I've got to go on, on a public roads now, so I'm gonna have to stop that. 
I will uh, see you in a minute. Just had a phone call from someone in Peterborough that found a hedgehog in his garden circling, so running around in circles. Um, it's during the day, but that doesn't really matter. Hedgehogs doing that at any time on their own, circling round and round and round is not a good sign. And uh, they need help. They're in distress. Uh, any number of reasons why they're doing that, but um, it could be an infection, could be an injury. Um, it's in stress. So uh, if you do see a hedgehog circling round and round circles on its by itself, then it will need help, and you'll need to get it rescued as soon as possible. Um, obviously, when a hedgehog, when two hedgehogs meet and they are mating or court shipping should I say uh, the male hedgehog will circle the female hedgehog um, as part of the courtship but uh, one hedgehog on its own in the middle of the day running around in circles is bad so um, unfortunately he was in Peterborough so I gave him the British Hedgehog Preservation Society number uh, to give them a call So yeah, let me just stop this video and we're heading off again, so. Okay, we're at uh, the release site for Mitch. <laughs> Let's get him out. I'm going to make sure I can film this person before we go much further. So uh, bear with me. Let's take Mitch out. Some gloves. What are you going to do to start with then? Because I've just changed the straw in the hedgehog feeding station. Uh. No, no, you go back. Good girl. Good girl. Hang on. Shall I stick around here? Go around the... Carry on round. Okay. <clears throat> hello perfect okay so i'll transfer mitch into this box for you and then tonight's dust time at that sort of time if you can put him into your hedgehog house yeah uh, from a store a little look at it if you don't mind yeah let me just put it put him into this box here and i'll just do that bit first it's cold. <laughs> nothing it's all right oh, i've so i've got yeah. i'll give you this towel as a Oh, you've got some towels in there? Yeah. I can give you this towel as well, there. <laughs> it's very spiky. You play there, <laughs> so. I put, should I put that in the garage? Or? Yeah, if, keep yeah. somewhere safe for now somewhere and somewhere quiet out the way. And then this evening, if you can go ahead and release, that would be fantastic. Okay. I leave it locked up during the day and I come out and uh, probably about 10 o'clock at night. Perfect. And move the bricks. Yeah. Because otherwise the squirrels get in there. Okay. What I can't understand, Martin, is I don't know how they're getting in. I don't care. <laughs> Please say off. But there's all sorts of. There's a very narrow gap and there's no holes there. Uh, I don't know how they're getting in, but there's loads of poo here always. Mm. Well, you've got a lot of places in your garden. Yes. Could be anywhere, really. Yeah. But they seem to congregate down there. Yeah. Um, the pond, which is new actually, but we've got a slate there. So Perfect, yeah. <clears throat> Good job. And looking a bit murky at present, got a few samples. Yep. This is the house. I cleared it out just before you came. Excellent. But, <laughs> well, it will be today. <laughs> so I put him in there. Yeah. At, at dusk. Yeah. Now, should I put the food and water in there? No, no, no. Keep them. Keep the food and water where your feeding station is, or a bit, a bit. So you can leave them here. So here, but not inside. No. 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 That's what I haven't done. I thought maybe that's why they're not coming. No. It's not in there. So is that is that okay? That's fresh straw. Perfect. Do they want any newspaper as well? Or no, you'd no? be right. You can put a little bit more straw in there. I'd yep. put double the amount you've got in there now. Yeah. Um, and then you'll be good. Right. And a 
there, but there's a gap under the fence there. Okay. I can get into the spinny. Oh, yeah, you've got yeah. the spinny behind here, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Perfect. Good, yes, you think. <laughs> My GoPro battery just ran out, but it's six o'clock. I've been through three batteries today. Um, Fern and myself are very, very tired. So we're heading back and go and grab a cup of tea. Um, but I did have a final call towards the end of the day, um, just a minute ago, from someone who found a hedgehog in a garden. She worked for a company that works on mowers or something, I'm not entirely sure and the hedgehog was disturbed she took it back home with her and um fed it over a couple of days nothing wrong with it and she wanted to know whether she should what she should do with it and so i suggested taking the hedgehog back to where it came from because that's where it's from which is always the best idea if, if you're in that situation um she was asking whether she could release it into her garden but i suggested not to do so um, mainly because um, where the hedgehog came from, I, it, she said it was only a mile away, but the hedgehog came from an area where um, it knows water sources, food sources. Um, at this time of the year, we're in early April, although it's unlikely that the, the hedgehog's going to be a mother, but you know, later on in the year, you don't really want to sort of move hedgehogs about the place if there's nothing wrong with them. <laughs> so, um, yeah, anyway, so hopefully she'll take the hedgehog back. She was from Stevenage to where it came from um, but yeah we're tired fun aren't you so I hope you enjoyed that um, this video and um, I'll, I'll combine it all together and uh, we'll carry on so I mean I've done all the hedge I did the hedgehogs early fed them early today because um, I knew I had a quite a busy day so. thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll see you soon